Second and the third, around one o'clock. That's today. That's today's the second. Today's the third. <laughs> I missed it yesterday. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. <laughs> All right, so today. next day. Okay. I've got a big training day. I'm not coming back today. All right. Forty-five. Is it the first fifteen? Yes. Fast? Okay. You guys ready? Yep. Fastest out of the three, actually. Yeah, I thought you guys were going way slower. <laughs> you were going way faster. <laughs> That's why, I, like, you know, when you haven't swam, you just have no idea. Yeah, like, when you're in a fitness, you don't know pace. I mean, right. it was like sub 110 for you. I think you just get one bad one out of the way and then like yeah. do a hard one. And... Well, it's it's better, honestly. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I did four or five hundreds on Monday and I thought I was gonna like shoot myself in the face. I was like, like this is awful. Threshold? I'm so slow. No, just like smooth. Yeah. And I was like short course cool yards. Well, and I was like 116. Uh, what, what'd you do today? What was the workout? And... It's quite short, but quality. We did the main set was. Three 50s, where the first one was a 25 fast, the second one was 35 fast, the third one was a 50 fast, and they were on shorter rests, so it got harder as you went. So it was on 90 seconds, 75 seconds, and then 60 seconds, and then right into 3 1 threshold. Um, so, yeah, don't really know what I was going on the sprints. I guess like the 50s were 32 ish. Um, so, yeah, and, and then the 100s were like 1. 11, 112. So, yeah, solid day. Um, it's nice to have people to swim with. It's just after the holiday. So, um, Evan, who I normally swim with, he hadn't been in the water for like two weeks, so he didn't really know what he was going to have, but he did great today. Conrad uh, is back swimming with us. So, yeah, um, good day, pretty quick, and uh, go home, rest a little bit.
Workout number two for the day. Yep. What do we got on tap? So this is a three hour ride with like four by 10 minutes, but the, it's firm, but nothing crazy. Uh, like zone two. And so for me, I, I just kind of imagine it as like, if I'm gonna, if I was riding in a big group, if I took like a strong pull at the front for 10 minutes. So um, it, it's gonna feel harder than that to me, but that that's kind of what I'm, that's what today is. Yeah, so I'm doing four by 10 minutes and then finishing off to make it three hours. Are we in a new training block in 2024? Or is this continuing from 2023? Hmm. New training block, I don't know. I don't, I don't, honestly, I probably, I probably know more about training than I give myself credit for, but uh, I'd say, you know, I'm just, I'm, you know, I, I was building because I took a break and I would say now we're kind of almost ready to get a little specific. Um, you know, race is going to come up really quick. Like what is it? We're January and like, I'm going to race early March. Um, so yeah, it's going to come up really quick. So we kind of got to start training. Two months. Yeah. I was actually in the pool with my wetsuit the other day and a random lady was like, why, why are you using your wetsuit? Do you have a race coming up? And I'm like, not really, but Oops, yeah, it's going to come up quick. Squirrel. So I'm hungry for this lunch. Did you eat between uh, the swim and Bucatini, which is hands down the best noodle. I basically refuse to eat any other pasta. I do eat other pasta, but I complain. Bucatini, best pasta ever. Don't you think, Pat? Absolutely. Well, you wanted Oroketti, though. Well, I did. Uh, look, I mean, I, I, I will compete with you, but I, I agree, Bucatini's the absolute best. But we'll best see you out there. Kenny, any guesses what year this jacket's from? Year? Ooh, Texas Roadhouse, I'm going to say 2011. Close, 2009. We're coming up on the 15, an 15 year anniversary of this jacket, but I still think it looks fantastic. You got fit. Don't you? Fit check. Don't you? Yeah. I think this is great. I like how you, you rock the old school stuff. Well, you know, I'm a baller on a budget. Was it? Fine. Was it lonely without me? Well, you always sit on anyway. You're not much company. <laughs> you can see that. Okay, so basically, so we're out mid-ride filming Gwen. Pat sees his buddy He's on the side of the road. Here. What are the chances? He needs help. He needs help fixing his bike. This guy's a mechanic. And you're wearing overwear. Just call, call Pat. He'll fix your bike. And I decided, I called a buddy of mine who's a mechanic, and I was like, look, what's the risk? simulation it's the ground is just as uh, unsteady and unnerving as if you're riding on the road in the rain so that's why we like to use gravel and the roads are always nice too that's the other big thing there is a point to it you got the climb coming up so she's just ready for anything exactly it's one of those two how are the efforts feeling? This one was hard. 
And that downhill is always harder for me to get the power, but it's kind of headwind that way today, hey? You probably can't feel it in the car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're good. One left. How was yeah. the gravel? You were smoking the turns. It's a, uh, it's great gravel right now. It's very, I mean, it's gravel, but it's grippy for gravel. Yeah. And how's the new bike? What? How's the new bike? Amazing. I love it. How's fit look? You look, you look good. Yeah. Yeah, everything is great. Kenny's retool certified, so he can really chime in here. Is he really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> awesome. It's been ten years, but <laughs> he's gonna do. He'll do the next. He'll do the video and the fit. Like, yeah. <laughs> Call up Kenny. He can film it and do it. Yeah. Um. All right. I'll start my next effort once I turn. Just needs a new. I gotta put a new bearing in there. It's it works. It's just the bearing is rough. We're gonna have to go get some. Yeah. Here, try here. Try driving. <laughs> try driving it on the ground. Hey Sam. Hey Pierre. Give us all the. We thought you were kind of going full zoomy on the uh, on the gravel. You know, I was thinking, I don't know what to call you, not a yes man, but like a hype man. You just hype everyone up. I yeah, love I'm it, hype. I love it, okay. but you know, all right. All right. I like well, to I, mean, I like to stay down here well, at reality. I could, tell, I could tell you where, yeah, I mean, I didn't, you know, okay, well. Um, I love you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We'll give everyone the... Uh, Can you tell I don't feel like talking? Well, you're, I mean, it's your second session. Well, I know what question we had, Kenny had. Oh, it if was, it's Kenny's question, I'll be interested. Okay. Today's order is swim, bike, run. Mm. Is, is that by design? Or is that by accident? Like, what's the... Not by design. I actually would prefer to go run, swim, bike. Um, right now in the winter, bike kind of... I kind of try to plan my bike out first because I want to get during the warm hours because once the sun sets, it gets pretty cold. Even like... Like, I think the sun sets at 4... Almost, almost 5, 4.45, but starting at 3 p.m., the temperature really starts to drop. And then swimming, honestly, my swimming is just based on when people can swim with me. So not by design at all. Just kind of random. So. Great question. Walk us through the, uh, the bike today. So you did 4 by 10 minutes, and the course kind of undulates. So you've got, like, the first section on Niowa Road where it just falls flat. And typically headwind, that one's always pretty slow. Pulls out like today. I don't know. You want to know the actual Let's stats? Give, give us all the breakdowns. Yep. Hmm, how can I tell what speed is? Do you know how to? No. Gosh, hmm. no. Okay. So let's see. So do you just want like wattage? Yeah. So I, so like it was like, you know, si 10 minutes, but it was six minutes. Whatever that not easy but not hard like firm and then four minutes faster and so the first effort was 190 and 221 then 197 227 that's like on 36 yeah. but that one's like pretty easy to get power because you're kind of uphill up. yeah. yeah and it's more it's like not false flats but actually like more hilly and then the downhill one which i always struggle with 174 and 206 and I had those gravels and the turns, which always kill my power. But it's not about power. 
I mean, I we're going through this, but honestly, I don't even analyze these really. Yeah, but people find it interesting. Sure, other people, sure. Yeah. Uh, and then the last one was 191, 225. Great. Yeah, see though. Any any Strava, Glenton? Any QOMs? I don't any no think PRs? So. No gold medals? A couple no PRs, just... but nothing juicy. No, just kind of a standard ride. Yeah. We gotta beat the sunset, Kenny. The golden hour, right? That's what everyone always posts about. So yeah, let's go do it. It's a bit, it is a bit gloomy, but it'll still be fun. Oh, I'm ready. On? What are we going to? Uh, 10K with 8 by 45 seconds at 320 feel. Okay. Per K. Not mile, obviously. I can't go 320 per mile. Be ridiculous. But yeah, I'm excited. Maybe we'll see. Maybe it'll be beautiful up there. It might. Yeah, it might turn out good. Might. All okay, right. I'm ready. All I'm right. going. Cool. I'm going to catch up. Okay. almost done. How long do you sit in the sauna for? Until I can't handle it anymore. We have a little timer now. I should actually flip it. Um, like I, this sauna, this is the Sisu sauna, and it actually gets hotter than any other sauna. So it get, goes up to 230 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just ridiculous. Um, so if I last 10 minutes, I'm happy. 15 would be probably the max I've ever done. Yeah, so right now, I use the sauna a lot when I'm not heat training just for uh, relaxation, for mindfulness. I also, my favorite thing to do is to have a mini micro date with Pat out here. Um, so yeah, it's it's a wonderful little escape that we have in our backyard. All right, so a solid day of training, swim, bike, run, and recovery. You know, I think I ran my run the easies maybe a little too fast because you were out there with me and it was just kind of beautiful with the sun setting and I wasn't expecting that. Um, so hopefully I can recover well for tomorrow because tomorrow's a big day in the pool. Um, so we'll see. What do you got tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm swimming with a group and I'm told we're doing 16 100s best average. So we'll see. Nice. This is a, are you happy with today's training? Yeah. Um, it's a solid day. You know, today's, uh, it was a big day, but nothing specific or nothing really that high intensity. I guess the swim had some sprints, but it was, uh, you know, pretty much just kind of a movement day in, in my mind. So just a big volume day. 
All right. Anything else, Pat? Okay. All right. Thanks for following along, everyone. Please give us some ideas for what you want to see next in the videos. All right. We'll, we'll uh, leave you to it. Thank you. <laughs> What's that? Is that a camera? <laughs> Georgie, can you blow a kiss to the camera? Blow like this to Kenny. Good job. Is it hard with the apple in your mouth? That was very good. Yeah. Look at Kenny. Here, let me take this. Blow a kiss to Kenny. Blow a kiss. Look at Georgie. Blow a kiss to Kenny. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Yeah.